There is no charge for awesomeness. G'day gang, Ed here and it's a super exciting day today because today we are open for business and how appropriate that it's day eight, the lucky number. So what are we going to do today? We are going to use a bunch of services called social bookmarking services. Uh, now these services are designed to let people know about sites that you think are good or are interested in. And the thing that makes them so special is that they have a particularly special relationship with Google. In other words, sites that people bother to socially bookmark, Google tends to take a look at quicker than sites that are not socially bookmarked. So we need you to get into the habit now of every time you create a new piece of content, you get you use your social bookmarking tools. And what's fascinating, in a distinct change from last year, you don't need to uh, ask anybody else to uh, help socially bookmark, if you will. It's just not necessary anymore. So we're going to show you how to do that using a service called Social Marker. So let's go to the video and we'll speak very shortly. Okay, so here we are at Social Marker and it's a very good site and if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that Social Marker has actually been created by former 30 Day Challengers. I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that. Um, that participated last year and wanted a tool which worked better for social bookmarking. And so we have uh, the site here and you can see and you read, feel free to read it. Uh, a couple of things I want to show you about uh, this particular site. One of the things is, and if you follow along here, you can see this button. Now what we want to do is we want to drag this button and drag it up to our flock toolbar. This will also work in Firefox. And just drop it up there and you can see now I've got a little button called socialmarker.com. So every time I create a new piece of content and it's published on the internet, I need to go up and click the social marker button. We'll go back and we'll show you that uh, with, in fact, why don't we do that now actually. Let's go to our vintage guitar blog and show you how it all works. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is our vintage electric guitar blog at vintageelectricguitarblog.com. And we've created our first article, uh, which is funnily enough on vintage electric guitar. Now, there's something I want you to do specifically um, for this. And as you get through, as you start providing content and doing all of these sorts of things, as you get different blog posts, each blog post is its own individual web page. And this is done very deliberately because it makes it very search engine friendly. So what I'm going to do, even though there's only one blog post on this blog at the moment, I'm actually going to click on that link because if we go up and have a look at our URL, you'll see that we actually have uh, a URL which is very, very searching. There's no mistake about what this uh, particular page is going to be about. And this is where this is the actual page. So we don't need to socially bookmark the actual blog per se, although it would be nice, you can absolutely do that. But for these purposes, I want you to bookmark this first page. So, and you do that by just clicking the headline. And now of course your blog will look different, but that's how you do it. Now we're going to hit the good old socialmarker.com button here. I'm going to click on that. And look at this, it's done some things for us already. It's already copied in the link for us, which is very friendly of it. It's also uh, copied in the title of the page. And you can see it's Vintage Electric Guitar uh, <coughs> and the blog name. Uh, I would uh, just have the actual article name. Now, as it turns out, this one's just called Vintage Electric Guitar. Um, and you need to type in a, uh, a little bit of text here. Make sure you always fill this out because uh, it looks human, because you are human, right? And we don't want to do this in an automated way, We just because there's no need to. We just want to do this in a natural way. So, uh, excellent. And try to use your own words, not my words. Because if everybody types excellent intro article, Okay, so there we have it. And funnily enough, what do you think our tag will be? Vintage electric 
guitar. So there we have it. So we've got uh, vintage electric guitar, all done. Now, you know, some people put in heaps of tags in here. There's no need. Just put the tag that is relevant to your particular, um, you know, your title and the phrase that you're using in that particular article. Now, uh, I'm just going to clear these because I want to focus on basically a couple of these major ones. Can you go through and use all of these? Sure. But there are a, a few that work in particularly really well. And they are Propeller, Dig, Delicious. I think it's delicious, but I can never pronounce it right. And some that I stumble upon. So we'll do that. Um, so we'll just use those and, and, and click those. So we're done. And we will press Submit. Now, okay, I'm going to show you what happens when you're already logged in, and then I'm going to have to, because what Social Market does, which is lovely, is it remembers uh, if you've been there. So the first time that you go through, it takes a while because you have to register and log in and then submit. But once you've done that, it actually remembers it, which is fantastic. So it takes you a, a lot quicker time. So with this propeller one, I've already actually logged in before. So for example, it's asking you for the URL. Now, what's nice is they've already provided you here. You can actually just uh, cut and drag the address in there, if you like, which is fantastic. It's already there. So there we have it, already dragged our blog in. You could just cut and paste that in. They provide all of that uh, that information there right down at the bottom, which is fantastic. Just have to make sure that it's all you know done properly. There we are, so it's, uh, that's that done. Submit the URL. So story title is, uh, is not the Vintage Electric Guitar blog, as it happens. Uh, it is Vintage Electric Guitar in this case. That's not deliberate. Don't. It's deliberate. The very first post that we use for obvious reasons, which uh, Rob explained. But you know, at the end of the day, and you can see here, it's automatically posted in um, a blurb, which is lovely. That's already there. And if you can scroll here, the tags aren't here, but we can drag the tags into uh, or just cut and paste, copy, and paste them in. That's our tag, which is great. Now, uh, story, is it news, business technology? Use the one that's most most appropriate. <sighs> I am going to choose arts and entertainment. Preview the story. There we are, you can see that posted by Ed Dale. Here it is. Approve and submit. Done. Great. Now what we're going to do is go to our next. And you can see here it is dig. Now of course because it hasn't it doesn't know that uh, I've already been here. It's the first time I've been here according to them. It's fantastic. It takes you automatically to the register page. So all you need to do if you haven't already become a dig member. Now I did ask a lot of you to do this in pre-season, but if you haven't already, then now's the time to do so and you can just fill that in which is really cool and you'll get a username and password and you might want to use a username and password that you'll remember <laughs> because uh, you'll, you need to remember, you'll need to remember it a lot over the time so just make sure you do that now so you just literally join register and hit continue and off you go eventually you'll get your login details and you can go to the login screen pardon me excuse me to log in uh, Feel free to click something like remember me there, click login. There we have it. So we're logged in, that's the actual, you know, the infamous dig front page. And of course we want to submit, so we click the submit button. Look at this, in, Vintage Electric Guitar, excellent intro article on Vintage Electric Guitars. 
We can choose a thumbnail, we'll choose the pick, which is lovely. Got the right, uh, got the right one there. Now we just, you just need to make sure that obviously uh, it hasn't been registered, which I'm sure it won't because nobody else has ever seen it before. There we are, done. The story has been submitted. Excellent. So we go up here next on our list. And we need to sign in. Now, of course, if you ha aren't a member of the Lithius, you need to go into the register page by clicking on the register tab, and that'll bring up um, the Lithius registration. And you just need to fill that in and put that. In. I love the Lithius as a service because it works in beautifully with Flock, and I actually showed you how to set that up as part of the pre-season video, so you can keep all your bookmarks in one spot. Love it. You may want to keep your private bookmarks, obviously, and private stuff separate from your marketing ones. You may want to set up a, a different account for both of those, but that would be uh, what we do. Okay, so uh, let's go to sign in here. I've sort of playing around with the system a bit here. There we go. So I'm just going to fill this in. Sign in. Here we are, Ed Dale's bookmarks. This is why, obviously, there are a lot of my bookmarks here, so I don't necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily use my own account on this one. I will because it's just easy. Uh, but uh, we can then submit. Look at that, all filled in beautifully. We haven't got the tags yet, so we're just going to cut and paste it off there. Paste in there. There we are. And click. By the way, you can click. Do not share. Uh, so that won't go out in the public feed uh, and obviously if you're doing your business one that may not be as smart I don't mind because you guys already know and click Save done so obviously it's taking a little while while I'm talking to you guys but for for most of you guys this is you know this will be a very quick once you get through uh, okay so is it sh yeah it's showing that I'm already logged in uh, so I've got that pasted, so I'm going to put in my tags here. There we are. Recommend this site. Very good. In it goes. Lovely. And actually, of course, for those of you watching, you'll see this all pop up in friend feed, and you'll be wondering what we're talking about as well. But uh, that is very cool. So that's done. We've got one more to go. Ha! Check this out. Twitter. So it's obviously I'm already logged in and now you can see um, this is already there. It's the the blog's already put in put in there. So I'm gonna click update and you're all gonna see this on Twitter and go, what the heck? What's he doing? And then you'll find out. So that's cool. But you can see how quickly those last two were because I was already logged in for those services. So it takes a long time to use this once, but then after you do it a few times it wraps through pretty darn quick and you really want to get into the habit of doing this every time you do a new piece of content all right so there we have it that's it that's bookmarking and the great thing is here's what happens now now all of a sudden google when it goes through these different services will pick up the fact that i have done this there we are up at cups and what's really really super cool is that it will um, then go to my blog and index my blog and we'll get into to Google and if we've done we'll just see what happens actually let's see and hopefully over the course of the next uh, day or so it'll be indexed inside of Google alright folks we'll see you soon